Zell Boy Army, welcome to another video on the channel. Not one, not two, but three uploads on the channel today, boys. Appreciate the support a lot, and the fact you guys are supporting the channel so much is making me just want to come up with more content and trying to put more videos out for you guys. The first video in this series did really well. We looked at the best defenders in the game. So today, obviously, the natural successor to that is to look at the best midfielders. If we can get to 300 likes on this video, I will get the best attackers one done by at least Sunday. So smash that like button and I'll get the third part of this series done. Subscribe if you like this content, guys. I'm always doing videos about the latest tactics, trying new formations, gameplay tips, tutorials, the latest promos, looking at the best cards of the game to help you get the best experience you can on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So with midfielders, we're going to start with CDMs. For this, I'm looking at CDMs, cams, and centre mids. Left mids and right mids, even though technically they come under midfield on FIFA, they tend to be more attacking players. So we'll save that for the attacker slot. I'm not including SBCs in this, um, just because people might not be able to do them anymore. So if you think a player's missing, then it's, it might be because he's in an SBC. And we'll start with Conrad Lima. I tried to do a bunch of different budgets for this, to be honest. I don't ever want this to be a series where um, people just thinking, oh, I can't afford any of those players, or there's not any good players. Like, I've got top-end players. Like, I've, we've got the most expensive players. I've got primes and down in this video. And I've got players like Conrad Lyman, like one to 2,000 coins. I've picked as many options as I can to try and give you guys lots of different options across the different leagues. So Lyman, very good. Um, free star, free star. He's rapid, like he's insane for that. Like he had a good right back SBC card as well. Uh, very very good card for his price. Just wish he wasn't three star, three star. Sane surprised me how good he was. To be fair, three star, three star. And he's six five. Like I wish he was a bit quicker. But for an eighty three card that's so cheap, he's actually pretty usable. To be honest, like I think putting a shadow on him turns him into a pretty damn good player. So good card that Malong. Um. He might have been an SBC actually, so I've accidentally included an SBC. No, I'm not sure. I don't know if he was. You'll have to tell me, guys. I don't think he was actually. Um, with an anchor, you're getting like near 99 physical. Um, he's not too bad on the ball. He's got elite defending for an 83. He's not that slow. Like this is a very, very good card for the price, especially when you consider the four-star weak foot. Kappa, I think the objective might still be available. I'm not sure about that, but if you did do him. That he's an outrageous player and a very, very good centre back as well. Zakaria, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Not sure if they'll make it past the next Champions League round, but this guy already is an insane card. The Swiss Vieira is what I call him. Um, I used him as an 85. Like this guy was an animal. He, he genuinely quite, felt quite like um, the 88 Vieira. Maybe not quite as good, but not far off. Like very good card. Um, he's got strong links to some pretty good players in Bundesliga now. Uh, the road to the final, Akanji, is a very good centre-back that you could always link him to. Uh, Wilfred and Diddy, a um, little bit slow. If Leicester make a few more rounds and he gets to 80-plus pace, we're getting into the realms of a very good card. Um, he's not too slow, to be honest, with a shadow, but like with a shadow, you're getting 99 interceptions and standing tackle, 95 defensive awareness. I'd like to be able to go an anchor to get him 10 more strength, but then you don't get as much pace. But I like this card. The weak foot's nice. This and Diddy is a bit of a beast right now. Chiellini, um, probably the best defensive-minded midfielder in Serie A. You can always play him at centre-back as well if you want a position change. A uh, bit of a beast. Quite quick, getting into the decent pace realms. And it's probably going to be the most um, usable Chiellini card we're going to get anytime soon. He's 36 now. Jeez, didn't realise he'd been playing that long. Uh, Kante. Um, Kante, always going to be good. This is an informed version. Obviously, you can always go for the cheaper version. Petit, like, I'm going to have plenty of icons in this list because obviously prime icons tend to be pretty better and usable. I don't love Petit. The lack of a four-star on either weak foot skills is a bit let down, but as the destroyer would be pretty good. Makaleli is an out-and-out -out defensive mind midfielder. is good, just a little bit limited going forward. Rykard, underrated, underrated card. Um, not a beast, not end game, but pretty solid. SCN, very, very good. Like, he'll suit this game to a T, to be honest. I would probably be going an anchor on him to get 99 strength. Um, 
I like his card a lot though. Oh, sorry, the yawning. Um, four star weak foot's nice. Like this SCN, I used him last year, really liked him. And then the last one on the CDMs, Kimmich, he'll probably get a team of the year and it will be very good, but won't be as good as some of the other cards could be. The four star weak foot's nice. I just wish I had more sprint speed because even on team of the year, he's probably only going to get like low 80s, um, which for a team of the year is not as good as it could be. Um, this Kimmich will play well. I just wish he was a bit quicker. Um, but he's probably not going to be too expensive for how good he is across the board and other stats. Let's look at the centre mids. Yeah, you can see there's a lot more on this. Um, Gravenberg can still do him for free. Um, he's the Dutch Vieira, you could argue, in some ways. Doesn't have quite the defending and physical stats. But as an all-round midfielder, I really like him. I used him on my road to glory for a few weekends. He doesn't really lack in any area. He's just not amazing in many areas. He's very good all round. And he's a free card. Samson. Um, I think Marseille got bottom of the group. So the card's not dynamic anymore. But as a cheap midfielder in the French League. He's still pretty solid. Four star, four star. Duncan. Only three star, three star. But a pretty good card as a free level 15 storyline. Um, in, not in. I keep saying in when I say AC Milan. AC Milan. Are looking pretty good this year. They've got Zlatan Fire in the team to do well. They're up there competing for Serie A. I think they have a chance at the Europa League. If this Kessie go, gets a few rounds and upgrades in the Europa League, he's an animal. Like, he's already one of the best midfielders in Serie A. Um, four star week was nice. He's insane physically. Like, what a card. And then we get to this bad boy Renato Sanchez. Lots of pros use him in the team. I used him quite a long time, really like it. I, I, I still use him on my Xbox. I don't know why it's not showing as a, a card I own. The four star, four star's nice. I use him with a shadow to try and make him like an out and out destroyer. But if you want him as the creative midfielder, he's good enough on the ball and with a hunter, good enough finishing. So great card. Um, doesn't really lack in any area, to be honest. And um, Moose Soka, not as good going forward as Renato Sanchez. Um, and only has three star, three star. But defensively, an absolute beast. With a shadow, he's getting to 99 sprint speed. He's like 6'2 with the insane physical. Like, what a card. Like, Moose Circa is going to be a beast on this game. I've played against him a few times and don't enjoy it. Paulinho, good. Decent if you're on a Chinese league team or Brazilian, but just a bit slow now. Valverde, very, very good. I've hit a few 30s using him in my teams this year. Rapid, um, feels good. Good on the ball, to be honest, better than his stats suggest. Good physically. He's just so quick that he just covers so much ground. Uh, Leon Goretzka. Um, Four-star weak foot. Uh, this is one of his inform cards he had. Good physical stats. Like He's just a very well-rounded midfielder again. He's not quite as good as uh, Renato Sanchez, but then he is 6'2". If he gets a few more cards this year, Leon Goretzka will be an absolute beast. I don't understand how he wasn't nominated for a team of the year, by the way. Um, Milinkovic Savic, decent card, not amazing. If you want something a bit different, a bit Pogba like in Serie A, then this is a decent option for you. The four star, four star is quite nice and he's tall. Genie with Naldrum. This card's lacking a bit in terms of like some elite stats. The four star, four star Genie now is nice though. And you'd expect Liverpool to go far. If Liverpool go a few rounds or win their first round and win the first game, so he's an 89. It suddenly looks a lot better, this card. It's already an 87. I think this could be a very good card within a couple of months of the Champions League. Fabregas, bit different. Only three star, three star. I don't know why they couldn't have given Fabregas a four star. Like, I know his gold card will be three star, three star. But surely for this, surely for this, they could have just given him a four star week to make him more user. He's a cool card, though. Like, his passing's insane. He's got very good dribbling. He's not even that slow. He's okay. He's like, as a CDM, this Fabregas is pretty pretty damn good even now. If he was four-star, four-star, it'd be an amazing card. Uh, Pauli Pogba. Pretty decent. I just think he's overpriced. But I can't make a list without putting him in. I don't think. I just think he isn't worth the coins. But a good card if you like him. Uh, the freeze for Mina. I've put him on as an SBC because he's still available. Um... I like the card. I'm tempted to do him on my Xbox team. I'm not 100% if I'm going to do him or not. But he is a very, very good card, to be honest, still. Um, 
He's quick. Got good shooting. Like he's just, he's got elite defending and physical for a CDM with five star, four star. He's just a bit of a different CDM. And out of the non icons, he's probably one of the best ones in the game. Um, mid hullet, absolute animal. Um, I like him a lot. I've I've used him on my team now quite a bit. I I have the card again. It's shown as a concept. Um, Hullet's just always going to be one of the best midfielders in the game. His prime is a centre forward, so that would come under the attacker slot. But I would use his prime as the best midfielder right now if I had to pick one. But the 90 Hullet is outrageous. Hullet is always going to be one of the very, very best meta midfielders. Patrick Vieira, the same. Not as good going forward, but as the destroyer, he's always going to be arguably the best destroyer in the game. Steven Gerrard, decent all-round midfielder. The um, freestyle weak foot hurts him, but if you like Steven Gerrard, still pretty good. Schweinsteiger is similar to Gerrard. Not as quick, not as good at shooting. I mean, pace is similar, to be fair. Um, not quite as good at going forward, but Schweinsteiger is way better defensively and quite a bit better physically. This Schweinsteiger is a destroyer. He's probably a better card than Gerrard. Balak, four-star, four-star. Very well-rounded card. I like him a lot. I use his 89, and this 91 is basically a few levels on most of the stats. So, a very good card. Kevin De Bruyne will get a team of the year. Will be up there for best midfielder in the game. This card's not slow, but a little bit bad at defending and physically and pace-wise, not elite. So, when he gets a team of the year, obviously, he'll, he'll get all that. But he's still a very good card. I used him on my PS account to get a 30 know. Um, low for Mateus. Beast. Rapid. Can do a bit of everything. A bit clunky on the ball, I've always found. But can do anything you want in midfield. And then Chavi, I think he's the last one on the list, is he? Yeah, Chavi's the last one on the list. I used him. And the lack of a four-star weak for her. He's got some good stats. He's just not quite as good as I would hope. Like, Xavi just doesn't suit the way FIFA's played. I wish I could say otherwise. But I'd be lying to you boys if I said that Chavi's just great at the game. He's still good. He's still good enough to use, but probably not as good as he should be. Okay, let's get to the cams. Quite a lot of icons here. Zielinski, more of a CDM. Quite a few of the um, cams I'm going to be putting as CDMs. Four star, five stars, nice. Pretty quick. Pretty good all round card. Like, if you want him as a destroyer, you could do it. He's just a bit weak. But if you want him as a creative player in a, a cheap team, he can do that with a hunter. Kunha, um, Kunya, Kunha, I don't know how to pronounce it. I said about him in another video. If you use him with a head, um, headliners, here's a headliners card. If you use him with a hunter, you're getting a very good card for cheap. Well, it's free. Four star, four star, a hunter would make him crazy. Uh, Promise, his 82 is one of the best cheap super subs in the game. I don't know how likely Ajax are to go far in the Europa League, but it's still a very good card. I do like this Promise and think he's definitely very usable. Um, so yeah, Promise. If they go far, he's going to be an animal, but yeah, very good pr player on this game. Taliska. I know I said I won't include SPCs, but this Taliska is such a cool, unique card that I wanted to put him in here. You can use him as an attacking player or a CDM. I think as a CDM, he's got a lot of different stats about him, which I like. Uh, nine Golan, very quick version of Nine Golan. So unless Nine Golan gets team of the season, this is probably the best card we'll get of him all year. Um, good option there. Blanc, not on a cam in my opinion. Like even though he's got good finishing, he doesn't feel that good on the ball. His passing's not elite. I wouldn't be using him as a cam, but as a CDM, being six foot four with that pace, decent physicals, he is a bit of a beast. Julian Brandt, I think this is a road to the final. Yeah, it's a dynamic card. Four star, four star. If he gets a couple of upgrades, he's going to be a beast. I know I say that about a lot of these cards, but that is just the reality with them. With a hunter, you get a 98 sprint speed, 91 finishing. He's good on the ball already in his passing. I like his card. He's also got pretty good strength. Um, I don't like the lack of aggression, but it's not the end of the world. Papu Gomez or Alejandro Gomez, four star, four star. One of the best dribblers on the game. He's just a bit weak physically. But he's really quick. Like I'd be looking to put a hawk on him, to be honest. Burkamp, good. His prime, I think, is a centre forward. So that would be the better version. Pretty good option. Just I think the prime is the one you'd obviously want to go for. Socrates, five-star weak foot and four-star skills and six-four. He's quite a unique player. 
and his prime to me looks very good to be honest i even think there's a, a chance you could play him with a hunter at cdm but the creative one he's got awful defending but with a hunter being six four with good physical stats i'd be interested to see how he played hadji always underrated never really used on fifa but when you look at the stats four star four star quick great shooting with a hunter you're getting 95 finishing 98 shot par elite passing and dribbling okay physical for someone with all those other stats it is a very good card at a good price Sadoff, there's debates over whether his mid or baby were better than him but this one is very good technically i would be putting him in putting him down as a cdm personally bruno his headliners um bruno's one of the best players on the game this year outside of the top icons um Bruno probably will get minimum a plus one because you'd expect Man U at some point to win four games in a row. I'd also expect with the way he's playing to probably get another team of the week at some point. But yeah, this Bruno's a beast. You can play him as the hunter or destroyer. I do think he excels as the hunter, as the creator. I think he excels as that more with a hunter on. Um, I've used the 89 for over 200 games on my Xbox account and love him. Kaka, pretty good on this game. He wasn't as good last year. But um, the dribbling mattering more than body type will help him with a hunter getting a great card. Loudrup, a very cheap card for some of the stats. He just lacks some of the elite uh, shooting and physical stats. Baggio, when I've played against him, he's actually felt pretty decent, to be honest. He's not a top tier one that's going to get into the best teams in the game. But he's got some very good stats that do make him pretty good on the game. And then the last one. No, not, not the last one. Third, actually. We've got two other cams to come. Uh, five star, five star. He's one of like maybe 10 players in the game that have it. Zidane is an animal. I've not used this prime yet, but I've used his 94 for hundreds of games at the start. And he was one of my favorite, if not my favorite card I've used this year. Ridiculous card. Look at some of the stats like 90 plus on all his shooting. 97 vision short pass. 96 long pass. 97 ball control dribbling composure even 88 strength stamina just the card's amazing can you imagine how good his moments is going to be like this card's nearly got 99 pace with a hunter like this guy can just do everything maradona will be top tier in most areas just the weak foot hurts him if this maradona had a four star weak foot he would be one of the very 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 best players on the game i wish i could say that he would be top top tier but the weak foot's going to hold him back a bit dribbling wise i've used him in a lot in a friendly he was just a joke like i could not believe how good he was on the ball but people at a high level will just show you onto his weak foot and now we're looking at maybe the best player in the game it's a debate between him and prime r9 some pros are telling me it's prime r9 some are saying it's pele five star skills four star weak foot you're getting near 99 on every stat on some of the key stats with a hawk he's got 99 pace shooting his dribbling's near 99. His key passing stats near 99. He'll have 98 jumping. Just, this guy just doesn't really lack in an area. To I'm, I don't get how at this point in the game we've got a 98 that's already this elite. But um, when you look at his price tag, let's have a look at him. Yeah, he's not even on the market, but he probably goes for like 12, 13 mil. Um, that, that's our list. Those are all the midfielders. Like I said, if we can smash that like button, we will get the attackers to you by Sunday. I appreciate the support on the channel a lot, boys. Thank you so much for putting me in the position to be able to do this every day. It's a job I love. Have a great evening and good luck this weekend, League.